Well, the reason I wanted to come to uh, Southern Miss is because my uncle played football here and uh, it was close to home and uh, I knew that I could have all my family here at The Rock on Saturdays and that, that played a huge role. Uh, the other sport that I played in high school was track, where well, I ran track. And uh, I just always liked football since growing up and uh, just playing it with my friends and uh, that, just, that just kept me kept me motivated to go uh, go bigger places. So yeah, I, I fell in love with football at a young age and I never faded away from it. Well, football is a, it plays a huge role in Bassfield. As you said, we win a lot of championships and uh, just competing every day, uh, surrounded by a bunch of D1 players and JUCO players that, I, that was on my team. We were, we were really loaded and uh, just, just being able to be around them and uh, taking tips from them kept me into the game. Uh, I learned from my uncle Eric Booth that uh, that you had to play uh, play the game one play at a time and and focus on your assignment. Don't try to do too much and uh, put your ego to the side, put your pride to the side, and just play for each other, play for your team. I think we all fly around. We're all ballers, and uh, we uh, we trust the system and uh, believe in each other that we can make the play when the ball is up in the air, and uh, just working on take backs every day and uh, just believing in each other. I feel like this team uh, is more confident and, and we understand that, that things can go sour real, uh, real quick. We started out fast last season, then we hit a slump in the road, then we picked it up at the end of the season. And I feel like we understand that you got to take it one game at a time and don't underestimate anyone. I'm studying my major is uh, sports management with a minor in business and I want to be a sports agent. And if that doesn't work, I want to be a uh, college coach. I think I'd be like Coach Hop. I'd just be nasty and tough. and. Uh, Always pushing the players to go harder. Second and 10, Higgins takes the snap, up in the pocket, looking, looking, throws up the field and threw an interception. Intercepted, going down by the Golden Eagles. That was Cornell Armstrong, who's gonna get his first interception of the year. Higgins under all kinds of pressure, and he just made a mistake that time. He put that one up for grabs, and Cornell going down has the interception.